स्पिनेच रायता माई नेम इज शेफ अरपाल एंड यू वॉचिंग मी कुक रायता नाउ सम इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन रायता लेट मी टेल यू रायता इज मेड आउट ऑफ योग विथ सम वेजिटेबल एडेड टू इट इट कैन बी स्वीट सॉल्टी और स्वीट एंड सार इट कैन बी टेम्पर्ड इट कैन बी प्लेन विथ सीजनिंग दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट विथ सीजनिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट ओके इट कैन नॉट बी प्लेन योग सो वट आई एम डूइंग हियर इज आई एम मेकिंग स्पिनेच रायता सो फॉर स्पिनेच रायता आई गोट अ कप of boiled spinach leaves here which i'm going to chop and so boiled spinach leaves this one i'm going to chop here it's kind of a healthy dish if you want to just eat it straight away you can do that a frying pan on fire here a little bit of oil in this one teaspoon actually one one tablespoon i would say with this add some cumin seeds 1 teaspoon and some sesame seeds which is again 1 teaspoon of this let this heat up in the meanwhile two green chilies that's what i'm going to chop let me also share a tip with you when you're boiling spinach leaves first you need to take leaves like this which are nice non bruised leaves which should not have holes in it or should not be torn or uh, probably should not have water marks okay that's very important secondly remove this long stem remove that and blanch in water now for blanching in water you need to take hot water boil hot water put the spinach leaves wait for the water to boil again and keep a bowl of ice water bath take the spinach leaves out right inside the ice bowl okay that's very important that's when you get nice and green spinach leaves little bit of information now here the sesame and the cumin are turning little brown this should take about 20 seconds if the oil is not hot enough if the oil is hot probably 10 seconds not more than that now to this i'm going to add little bit of garlic 1 tablespoon of chopped garlic with spinach garlic is a nice you know combination now important to brown the garlic okay should not be left white as it gets brown green chilies into this there you go if you don't like it spicy you can avoid it wow look at this now it's looking good absolutely brown the spinach into this the boiled spinach mix this up to this little bit of turmeric a pinch of turmeric and little bit of salt to taste here there you go want to do this practice first with plain vegetables now you look the brown garlic the sesame everything looking good and finally little bit of cumin powder garlic little bit of turmeric turmeric brightens up the color cumin powder and cumin seeds enhance the taste of spinach garlic great combination now this is done next step is yeah take this out and what i'm going to do is put this wok kadai with oil and heat this up now this is because i want to fry some spinach now this is spinach which is nice and boiled now this spinach chiffonade that i'm going to cut nice long julienes fold the leaves take some leaves like this fold them up and cut because when i do a spinach raita i feel it's important that you know it should look good so nice julienes of this chiffonade as they say you know in common language probably everybody would know it as julienes but this is in culinary terminology this is chiffonade okay so just fold the leaves and cut it and this is what it should be like nice wow look at this so around 20 such leaves you can take and or more if you have more you can take more 20 such leaves would do justice to the raita if you are making for four people there you go and this should be enough for the raita so what i'm going to do is fry this until it is nice and crisp 
So that's important. That's the little twist that is happening here. Now, oil is getting hot to this bowl of yogurt. I'm going to add plain and simple salt. Nothing more than that. That's it. Salt added here. Mix this up. I don't want this raita to be sweet and sour. This needs to be a little bit of salty, a little spicy. And richness of the spinach is what you should get. The garlic flavor is what you should get. Hence, that's the blend. Now, to this, let's mix this up, okay? Now, there's nothing more that I've got to do with this. The spinach and the yogurt mixed together here. Actually, this looks a bit hot now, but at home, I request you all to mix it up when it is nice and it's brought to room temperature. There you see the change in color because there's turmeric in there. So there's a change in color because of the turmeric. It gives you a nice little color. Blend this up well and put this in a serving bowl. I have a nice big serving bowl. So transfer this in here. Wow, looks good, man. Very good. Super garlic, sesame seeds, everything in here. Now, the oil needs to be hot. So I'll just check. Not so hot. So we'll have to wait for some more time. So the oil now is hot enough and a lot of preparation is what you're seeing in here. Wow, look at this now. This is what I want. Fry the spinach until it is nice and crisp. That's what I want with this spinach. So those little twists, you know, you would do with a raita to make it look more interesting as part of a meal. So that's important. Otherwise, I, I remember my mother's days, you know, she would like just mix up uh, the vegetable and the yogurt. And uh, those days, raitas generally were considered thin. Okay, that's also important because raitas would be mixed with rice, okay, and then eaten along with some lentil and vegetable. So the combination is what was important. But nowadays, sometimes, you know, nowadays I see people eat raita directly uh, as uh, a meal because this is very, very interesting. If you really see, oil should be very, very hot. Only then the spinach will be fried crisp. Otherwise, it will be completely oily. That's what you will see that it's getting fried slowly, but it will be completely oily. So the spinach here, is now nice and crisp. That's when I take it out. As much oil as possible should be removed. Take it out on a tissue paper. That's important. So that any excess oil, the tissue paper can, you know, soak that oil. So that's important. Here you have beautiful. Now, when the spinach is hot, two things we need to do. Take a little bit of red chili powder, sprinkle a pinch of that on top of the spinach and about half teaspoon of chaat masala on this so that the spinach is nice and exciting. You can eat the spinach itself. Slowly mix this up with the help of a spoon. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. What you do is take the spinach on top of this. There you go. Now that is the excitement of the raita. Just to add a little bit of specks of color to this, I'm taking one fourth teaspoon of chili flakes on top of this raita all around, making it look good. There you go, beautiful. Now, this is something which you can just eat it as it is, isn't it? All you need to do is follow the recipe and enjoy at home.